Welcome to the Character Creator Accessory Creation Tutorial. In this video, I'll guide you through the process of creating Character Creator compatible accessory. Let's first go over the differences between accessories and other types of assets, such as clothing. Common accessories would be helmets, glasses, piercings, hats, or even adornments worn in the hair, such as ribbons. Let's go over some basic rules for this asset type. They cannot be bound to any part of the skeleton hierarchy. Accessories need a single parent bone to carry it, which will also dictate its positioning. They do not conform to the body shape, therefore one will have to transform the asset for fitting. Appearance editor is not supported, therefore make sure to apply standard textures and materials. Accessories can carry bones, and they may even have spring dynamics applied. In this tutorial, we'll be making a pair of hipster-style glasses. So let's get started inside Character Creator. I'm going to start off with a base mail template and export it in FBX format. Any base template will do because we can transfer the asset to other body types. I'm not going to include the calibration motion because I won't be doing any skin weighting. Now, inside Maya, I will first open a scene with a pair of glasses I have already modeled. Then I'm going to import the character template and fit the glasses on the character's face. Now that it's in the proper position, I'll need to parent the glasses to the head bone. And freeze the transformations on the glasses, making sure to reset translation, rotation, and scale values. Now that the glasses are set up, I'll select all the meshes and the skeleton in the outliner and export it all in the FBX format. Next, inside Character Creator, I'll drag in this FBX file and load in the decrypt key file. The decrypt key file has DRM related information along with bone scale data. You can find this file in the same location as the character template. And we can leave the new template file as default as that was also used during the template export. Press OK and make sure the glasses type is set to accessory and press OK again to import. Now, under the content window, I'll cut to the accessory head custom category and press the plus button. This will save the glasses out in the appropriate asset category. Make sure to also name the asset. Now, I'll load another character by simply resetting the scene and apply the glasses by double-clicking on it. We can also test out the glasses by applying some motions through the calibration window. So as you can see, the glasses stick to the head no matter what position it's in, just like it should. And that wraps up the accessory creation tutorial. Please check out our other tutorials under the Character Creator Content Creation family.